Yo, what's up everyone? JPing checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Coming with you guys live from the outside area, the fairgrounds. We're in Greenfield. Here from Colorado. I'm from Washington. Oh, it's, where are we right now? We're where, Flower Expo. Where are we? Flower Expo, Greenfield, Matt. We're Flower Expoing it up. It's in full force. There's food trucks here. But this isn't about anybody else. This is about you, Matt. This episode brought to you guys by Trees, Bada Bloom. It's all about Toker Poker and your story. I know a little bit about it. I've been seeing the product for almost a decade now, but I don't believe I know the official story. So who are you? What do you do? And what are what are we doing here today? Um, my name is Matt, and the Toker Poker is my baby, man. This is uh, this is my invention. My wife and I came up with the product a decade ago. Like, oh wow, okay. Um, first prototypes were made from acrylic paint and a bread twisty tie, bro. We'd lay that shit on a, on a table, we'd let it dry, and we'd roll it uh, around our lighter, and those were the OG prototypes. That's incredible. Um, launched the product in 2014, and, uh, and have really have, had kind of the same model since, since the inception. It's, it's, a, it's a testament to, to the quality of the product, man. It's, it's, a, it's a utilitarian product. It's a, if you're smoking flour out of a bowl, um, it's necessary. It's like trying to open a fucking bottle cap without a bottle opener, right? You have yeah. your built-in poker to clean out your pipe. You've got your tamper to pack your bowl back down. Uh, fits a Bic lighter. We have flipper versions. We have mini Bic versions. Um, That's very, so cool. Yeah, basic tool, man, but it's it's everything you need. I love the functionality of it. I've seen this at many people's houses where I've bought weed. I've smoked with many people. I have it in their pockets. I've seen it at, just seen you at countless events. Yep. Consumers have it. They use it. it. They buy it and sell it at shows, right? And Fuck retailers. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Tell me about creating this product in Colorado, the first recreational adult you see in America, and watching where we're at with America today. Because I know you've been all over the world with this now. It's crazy. Yeah, we're, we're all over the world. We sell over a million units a year now. Um, and uh, man, to go from, you know, the corners of, 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 the back corners of, of the cannabis industry and everybody kind of hiding behind it back right. in 2014 when we launched this shit right. and now seeing the brands man seeing the money seeing that the the innovation that's poured into this industry <laughs> is absolutely fucking incredible it's absolutely. absolutely incredible i mean like in 2014 you know there was you know nobody was doing anything man there, there was no no legal cannabis there were uh, people were yeah. getting raided any grinders still base and glass yeah people were getting light makers were out there and glad bro yeah. it was yeah. Shit was, was shit was still going down, and and to see it now, and to see the openness uh, and the acceptance, it's just it's amazing, man. It's amazing. I think the coolest thing that I've seen is the innovation. Like people, instead of being scared to innovate with the cannabis industry, they're coming out with the coolest shit, and it is so fun to see. There's money behind it. There's creative people are leaving other spaces. Whether it's I have a homie who has a product in space who designs and make for NASA. Uh, and the game now he makes hardware in town. So How cool is so it? From a scientific standpoint, he, 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 you make something for NASA, you're good, it's good enough, for, you know, hand to hand with anybody, right? 100%. So it's like to see that that kind of talent is translated into cannabis and to be successful in that, it's inspiring. Absolutely. I think what you've created here, in addition to, the, to what you've been through to just to get to where you are today, is not only inspiring, but it's a testament that it can be done. Absolutely. You can grind. You can't get to a million units a year from nothing. Fuck yeah. Right? Fuck yeah. We didn't have any any uh, any VCs behind this. It's, nobody invested in the company. This was a grassroots movement. We took every penny we had. We reinvested it to order products. And a decade later, here we are, man. So we're here today. We're in Green for Mass. The market is, is expanding. It's growing. It's crashed. It's done whatever it's done. It's a market. And it's new and it's cannabis. It's highly re regulated. How are you guys winning in this space? What are you doing physically to support these partners and to help ensure success with the company? Um, it's tough, man. It's really tough. When you're when you're dealing with cannabis brands, you're you are, you know, you're you're kind of marketing your product with essentially two arms tied behind your back. I mean, we really we get limited just like cannabis brands do with credit card processing. And you do collaboration all the time. So that's a way that you all overcome some of these obstacles, all the right? We yeah, we work we work very closely with with brands. We do custom printings. Um, yeah, one one hundred percent. Yeah, but for you know, for the most part, our product we do uh, kind of live in a gray area. It's a really great place to live where there are certain things that we get regulated on. But for the most part, um, it's a lighter case. It's a plastic lighter case. No, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Well, we're here at Flower Expo. What uh, what do you want people to know about you? 
What do you want people to, to, to what, do you, what are you looking for? I want, I want people to, uh, to first and foremost, this is an education thing. This is, this is our first push on the East Coast, um, especially with dispensaries. So we're, we're doing a lot of educating at this show. Um, particularly at this show, we're really pushing um, the, the custom printing, the white labeling. Uh, we want dispensaries to know that we can put their artwork on this. Uh, we can put their branding on this. Um, and that's really what we're pushing. I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Big fan of what you guys do. Shout out to you, Matt, for what you and, and your wife have created. Now, this is the part of the show where we've got to turp check you. This is the cannabis event. Let's do it. We're all smoking. We're dabbing. And I'm always make, I'm always uh, turp checking people saying, what, what, what are the turps that you got in that bag? So you went earlier offline. You grabbed the weed out of your bag. Yep. You got something from Colorado. Yep. Look at this, Abel. You ever seen Colorado weed? Look at this, you guys. People from other states don't go to Colorado very often anymore. They don't. They haven't seen it. So tell me about what you. What are we smoking here today? Uh, this is uh, from the Health Center. This is a. Uh, I don't even know the strain to be honest, but it's a. It was a sativa strain. Okay. Um, I. I'm. I'm a sativa guy. I don't no. like. I don't like heavy indicas. I like to day smoke and and have that nice euphoric. I, I have to you know? pop the cap and see. Do it. Is that okay? Of course, brother. All right. Here we go. Hey, boy. You ready? Woo! Ooh, it is nice and orangey. Okay. All right, you guys, we've got to show him a co some Colorado. Come look at the bud. Come look at it. He, he smoked the bottom half of this, so this was a good-looking nug when it started. But as you guys can see, this is a nice bright green. This is a good Colorado. One of the big things, what was it? Col Colorado had a, it's from Colorado Kush. You know, some, what are some of the strains that, you, that are that come out of Colorado that are pretty popular? Mm. What's some of the favorites over the years? Someone flies in the Colorado map, what, no. what are you telling them to grab? I'm probably, like... If you're if you're looking for a really nice light sativa, like I'm probably gonna push you to like a Tropicana Fookie, like a like a real nice, very very like orangey flavor. It's gonna be a really nice light, euphoric uh, high. That's kind of my go-to sativa, man. I I love it. Uh, uh, Tropicana Fookie is a classic. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a you can't go wrong with it. Toker Poker Tropicana Cookies. I'm gonna need to see that on the little strain version for this here soon. My guy Matt coming through, CEO founder Toker Poker. Make sure you guys tap in. Visit their website, search them on social media. They're all over the place. Test them at the events. But either way, no matter what, you guys got to do it. Check it out at your local smoke shop. Go inside. Ask for it. Check out the trippiness. Custom collaborations available, okay? I love you guys. Episode brought to you guys by Trees and Bottom Bloom. We'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. We out. Peace.